Okay, so this morning what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be collecting um, some water from the um, Oslo fjords. So you can see that we're, we're down by the water's edge today. Um, the reason we're doing this is because um, there's a big concern globally um, through you know, the emission of carbon dioxide that there's an increase obviously in the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The carbon dioxide itself, um, one of the biggest sinks for the CO2 is actually the um, oceans. Um, and that then, concerned, um, that then leads to the concern that we're getting acidification of the oceans so that um, the ocean is naturally, or the seas are naturally a little bit basic. But unfortunately, as they absorb carbon dioxide and they become basically carbonic acid, then the issue is that um, there's an acidification and that can um, affect some of the microorganisms. Now, this connection with Zimmer and Peacock is because we're using, um, we develop a lot of sensors. We have the um, sodium sensors, the potassium sensors, the chloride sensors, the pH sensors, the calcium sensors. We, a lot of, we have a lot of um, ion specific electrodes and we'll be using those then to um, analyze the seawater. And the really nice thing about these sensors is the form factor is so small, it leads to a very different type of sensor in terms of it's not one of these traditional pH probes, which is quite um, large, a little bit fragile, has drift. So the first thing we're going to be doing anyways is collecting the sample and then taking the sample back to the lab and doing some analysis. Okay, so just give me a second while we collect this sample. The beautiful thing about the sensors is we actually only need about um, 50 microliters. So I've got enough for tens of thousands of, of tests here. So um, we'll be doing some follow-on um, videos regarding um, the testing of this sample now then. Thank you very much.